Good evening. So this video is going to make me some friends and help me climb that popularity ladder. But it is what it is. I want to speak for a second on the gentleman uh, by the name of Aaron Bushnell that decided to light himself a fire in front of the Israeli embassy in Washington. So this type of thing happens much more than what you would know and it's kind of interesting that the news cycle has picked up this story and I can't help but think it's because of what he was doing it for what he was standing up for because you don't hear about the large majority of times that it happens um, the media is silent on it it happens fairly often usually in front of the White House I'll say that um, so I, uh, I, I noticed that a lot of, we'll say, right-leaning individuals have um, chosen this as something to joke about, something to laugh about, something to point at and look at that stupid person. You know, there's an interesting thing, and I'm not in any way supporting protest in this type of manner. This is, this is, it's unbelievable. Um, but I will say this, the courage that it takes to do what that man did is indescribable, indescribable. And some people would say, oh, that's not courage, that's stupidity. No, that's your stupidity. Because to willingly and knowingly walk up to a particular location and douse yourself in a flammable li liquid and light yourself on fire, that takes a hell of a lot of courage. No matter how you want to spell it, it takes a hell of a lot of courage. Here's the really interesting thing, though. The individuals that are out there loud and proud laughing at this guy are the same individuals that won't get off their ass to do a damn thing for their country aside from voting every two and four years and maybe bitching on YouTube or Facebook. By the way, how's that big New York City trucker boycott doing? Oh, oh, yeah, that was like last week, right? That's last week's news. That, yeah, yeah. Or maybe it's that the news just isn't reporting on it. Or maybe, maybe we're all just being completely misled and everybody in New York City is starving to death right now. No. The truth is, the same damn truth why the left has been wiping their asses with the right is because the left does things. The left has no problem getting up and doing something. The left has motivation. And I'm not picking up for either side. They're both cults in my eyes. I, I think you, if you are heavily involved in either the right or the left, you probably need your head examined. Because neither side believes in telling the truth. Neither side believes in having an actual discussion. Just a bunch of people spewing out talking points that their masters tell them to say. You can't even talk to them about anything outside of that box because they don't even know how to respond. And then, of course, well, you're just stupid. Hmm. Imagine that. Imagine that. Again, I don't condone this type of a protest, not in any way, shape, or form. But I do want to speak out <clears throat> against those idiots out there that think that this is something funny, that it's something a matter to laugh about. Believe me, just because we live in the grand old U.S. of, our, US of A, our day is coming. Our day is coming, and I don't want your bullshit karma bleeding off on me. Because our day will come. <clears throat> it will be our children, our loved ones, that will be falling for some stupid-ass reason. And why? How are they going to be able to do this? Because y'all are too busy fighting the battles that they send you to fight. So you're not paying attention and doing anything about what they are doing. 
rinse and repeat. We're just going to keep this cycle up. We're just going to keep doing this over and over and over until this country is truly a dumpster fire. Not going to take much more, I don't believe. A lot of people out there spewing a lot of rhetoric. What I don't hear is a lot of common sense. Shalom.